Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. Today we're going to be covering the free for the month stuff for the month of July 2023 where we've once again got access to 5 amazing assets free for this month only. So this time around we have the big Niagara bundle, the bazaar, the brutalist architecture office, the goblin warrior modular and landscaping. And before we continue I just want to say Apologies for not releasing some videos over the past couple of days. I've just got back from a business trip down to London, whereas with my game studio, which was recently formed, called Copper Gaming. So if you don't already know about that, definitely check it out in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get on with today's video, starting off with the big Niagara bundle. So this bundle contains Niagara effects from 13 different packs, totaling 453 effects. So 150 of those effects are unique. There's 45 materials, 37 textures, 58 blueprints, and 84 meshes. The collection contains a wide variety of Niagara effects suitable for science fiction projects, fantasy, and other genres. There are both abstract effects such as rain or snow, symbols, constellations, and more. So the Niagara packs included in this are the hologram pack, weather, symbols, abstract space 1, 2, 3, and 4, black and white, constellations, and effect mix 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this looks like a really good value for money if, if you want to get a lot of Niagara effects. So the emitters on this are both CPU and GPU. There's 150 unique effects with 453 total. And as I said earlier, there's 45 materials, 37 textures, 58 blueprints, and 84 meshes. So this looks absolutely fantastic. And next up, we have the Bazaar. So this has more than 250 assets with Nanite for UE5 and game ready for mid to high end production. So this has one pre-assembled map to showcase all the assets and that is obviously the bizarre map. And there's also one overview map with the modular assets just laid out, tools with instructions and the unique assets. There are four master shaders with more than 100 instances and there's more than 250 unique and modular assets including prefabs. So these can be used for set dressing assets, pre-assembled buildings, modular architecture pieces such as walls, windows, banisters, gates and more, desert palm trees and more prefabs. So the world collection parameter includes wind speed, sand coverage and more and these are all game ready and optimized assets with precise hand adjusted LODs with up to 8 levels. And the texture sizes also range from 512 up to 4k. So this one I think looks absolutely fantastic and again it's got modular pieces in here as well so you can create your own bizarre scene using these two and again this looks absolutely amazing. Next up is the Brutalist Architecture Office. So this is a complete pack for creating Brutalist architecture styled environments. This has over 250 models, building blueprints, 70 plus blueprints that speed up level creation and tiling architectural materials as well as an example map. So as I've said this pack comes with over 70 blueprints that help to speed up the level creation process and keep performance optimized. The building system generates buildings with over 200 plus variables to change for windows, dimensions, colors, furniture, and more. And there's also spline blueprints with various systems to help add chairs, interior plants, etc. So this is a library with over 250 different ArcViz styled assets like furniture, props, lights. And the pack also includes nature assets like foliage and rocks for the surrounding background. So this features building blueprint system with over 200 parameters over 70 different blueprints and splines, 250 ArcViz themed assets, advanced materials with multiple customizable parameters, interactive lights, doors and furniture, modular meshes, tiling architectural materials, automatic furniture placement, and dynamic lighting. There's 104 materials and material instances with 186 textures with the text resolutions ranging from 256 up to 4K with the vast majority of these textures being 2K. Now we have the Goblin Warrior Modular. So the Goblin Warrior has 6 armor sets and is modular. So this is rigged and animated, but it is not rigged to the epic skeleton. There are 16 animations, all of which are in place, and there are 6 characters. There's 34 materials and material instances, and 102 textures, with the text resolutions being 2K and 4K. So there's not a lot to say about this one, you kind of just see it, but this looks absolutely great. So again, there are 6 different goblins, with six armors, four weapons, three shields, and it is fully modular, so you can kind of change which goblins have different armor, weapon, and shields to have it all look 
absolutely amazing. So this would work for if these are enemies or the AI or even if it is just the player. This would work absolutely fantastic. And even if you just wanted to use the different armor, shields and weapons in your game as well, you don't even need to use the goblins, you could just use those too. And finally, last but not least, we have the landscaping plugin. And now with this set, I believe we've saved the best till last, as this is an easy way to import GIS data as single landscape, world partition or world composition, as well as generating weight maps, spline actors and more. So the video which I'm showing on screen now really shows this off better than what I'd be able to say and you can obviously check out the video as well on the marketplace page. But this allows you to import digital terrain models, DTM, import satellite imagery, JPEG 2000 and GeoTIFF and import vector data, shapefiles, GeoJSON, OSM and GeoPackage. So you can basically find somewhere on a map, you want to use that location data, that landscape data you can then import that into the world as a landscape and again it can be single landscape, world partition or world composition. You can then use that to have the correct landscape you want and have the textures on there, the foliage on there and you can then also put splines in, for example a road which can then deform the landscape to have that looking and working perfectly. So I'm trying to explain this in a way which doesn't sound too technical and it just sounds very easy to understand but again the video will really help understand it a lot more but I think this one is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely amazing and I'll probably end up using it in one of my own projects as well. So the code modules included in this are the landscaping in the editor and there are over 30 C++ classes and three blueprints. And as I've said this could be a bit a bit technical for some people to understand so they do also have their own documentation linked on the marketplace page as well for you to fully understand how it all works and they've also got 56 of 56 questions answered on the marketplace page so if you have any struggles I'm sure they'll be happy to help and answer any questions you have got. So again I think this one looks absolutely amazing. But I think that'll be it for this video covering this month's monthly free assets for July 2023. As I've just said and I'm sure you can tell the final landscaping plugin is my favourite one this time around but I also really like the bazaar as well. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was for this month and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful of me just going over and covering these different assets which we've got for free this month which we get for free every month on the first Tuesday of the month and again I was away at the start of this month in London so I couldn't do the video until I got back very late last night so I'm doing it this morning but again Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.